what's up everyone in today's video we're going to take a look at gamaguri's movesets while he doesn't have a ton of flashy combos being satsuki's impenetrable shield does give him a few moves that can be used to trick your opponent and get an edge on winning the match so the first thing you need to know and some of you already know this from the moment you choose gamaguri you're instantly at a disadvantage compared to other characters or so it may seem Gamagor is super slow if his DC gauge is at 0%. The only advantage is that you have more health than the other players, but you have to lose said health to increase your DC gauge. From what I've seen after playing Gamagori for an extensive amount of time, he doesn't have a ton of moves, but he's super tanky. Seeing that he is one of a few who possess a unique Goku uniform that has two forms. So I'm going to do this video a little different than the others. I'm going to show you his moves with the percentage requirement and damage output. And in the second half, give you a few tips that will be key to help you secure the victory. Combo starters. Light attacks take 10%. This is discipline double. This is discipline wipeout. This is Discipline Swing Up. Combo Finishers. Heavy Attacks take 30%. This is Discipline Cruel Restraint. This is Discipline Scourge Whip. This is Discipline Upper Strike. Break attacks take 40%, except Goliath Leap, which takes 50%. This is Goliath Dash. This is Goliath Iron Hammer. This is Goliath Waves. And this is Goliath Leap. This is probably the most important tip you will ever get. As soon as you start a match, your goal is to get to Ketsui level 1 as soon as possible. And I'll give you two reasons why. At level 0, your DC gauge caps at 100%. But based on the numbers I've shown you earlier, how is it possible to do all those combos with just 100%? So going to Ketsui level 1 will raise your DC gauge 3 times its size. And the first reason to do this is that you will be able to perform all your combos. Secondly, if you pay attention to your damage output while doing a move or a combo, you will realize that if you have less than the required percentage, you won't do the maximum damage. What you put in is what you get out. So it is always a plus to have more than you need at your fingertips. Now, at first you might think you need to constantly punish your character to actually use him. 100% is a lot to fill, worth 300, right? Well, I'm here to tell you that if you over whip, then this character just becomes a double-edged sword and you end up helping your opponent rather than ending them. While whipping is one of the fastest ways to get DC, it is not recommended to over whip. Based on the numbers you've seen, you want to get around 30 to 40% because this is the sweet spot to ensure you are not playing too defensive to cause your opponent to take advantage of you. Plus, 30% is the basic requirement to do a full combo. Now, since we've covered the over whip thing, now I need to give you charge alternatives, right? Well, once you're in shackle regalia, your DC gauge charge from enemy attacks. But you'd be stupid to think the opponent is full enough to power you up. Your rival will definitely understand that they need to constantly pressure you with break attacks. 
so you need to charge fast and take minimal damage. Here are a few alternatives. First of all, you can use Restriction. This is something you can do with a break attack and it's an insta 30% to your gauge. You can add the extra 20 real quick and that 50 is all you need to do any of your basic combos. The second alternative is Jijo Jibaku which is an insta 157%. Lastly, there's a manual method to Jijo Jibaku, and that is the Shackle Charge. This move charges to 30% and releases 20%. But if you time this, you can cancel the charge at 25% and restart the charge without taking any damage. Worried about being attacked? That takes us to our next tip. Apart from having a lot of health to take massive damage, Gamaguri also have insane reach. So your opponent shouldn't just be afraid of you attacking them but they should also be afraid of attacking you. Gamaguri's break attacks are designed to counter enemy attacks. There is a break attack for both Shackle and Scourge Regalia. They are both fast and have range, and it is your job to time your opponent to counter them properly. If you decide to charge with Shackle Regalia, you are always at an advantage to counter your opponent. And this is a good way to trick your opponent. When they see you charge, they usually back off. You cancel and jump, you go in the air, you charge some more. Try not to charge too long because if you release, you'll be open for a counter. But if you land, you'll have to reinitiate the charge. Be aggressive. You might think that because Gamaguri is slow and doesn't have a ton of combos, it's best to play defensive. But it's more the opposite than that. While he does have a ton of health and great defense, it's very easy to fight him. Your opponent know that all he has to do is pressure you with guard breaks, so you should play your opponent in the exact same way. Never stand around too long, never charge your DC gauge too long, and never give your opponent the edge in the mind game that you are playing. Don't forget everyone, my lists are not complete. I only showed you like 5 or 6 combos, but there are still a lot more out there to discover. Try new things, learn new things, and come back and share them with us. I'd really appreciate that. So the best settings to practice combos on are these. Put your time limit to endless and reduce your handicap for both you and the computer or friend. The handicap is basically your damage output and health. A reduced settings give you more health and less damage output. And if you're fighting a computer, reduce the difficulty to no star. When you're done practicing, increase the computer difficulty to three star and increase their handicap, which means they'll hit like a truck. So good luck and enjoy this fight, alright? Oh, 
類カウンターヒッチシャク